What is up everyone? It's your boy Mike from Balls of Fury. Welcome back to the channel. I'm hanging out with my beautiful girl Nova right now and I wanted to take the time to kind of share my thoughts on the state of the snake market right now. And as most of you guys have probably noticed, the snake market is at a downturn right now. Prices are dropping. There's a lot of sales going on. There's even auctions going on. And I don't look at this as a completely negative thing as far as investing into snakes. I actually view this time as still a time for opportunity for you. Now, right now is one of the best times to be a buyer or an investor in this market because you could get some very high end animals for way cheaper prices than you could, let's say, in 2020. Now, even though the market is down and some, some of your animals may have decreased in value, such as, you know, for example, like with me, the Batman stuff has really dropped in price. So, you know, that investment right now is not looking too good. However, it still has the clown gene in it, which is an awesome gene. And we could still work with that clown gene to make some really beautiful stuff that would be in high demand. Now, some advice that I've taken personally myself and that I will share with you guys as well is if you're pairing up animals this year, it might be a good idea to maybe hold off on some pairings. For myself and Darius, I know we are holding off on some pairings this year just because we wanna wait until that market goes back up and because maybe some of the stuff that we wanted to pair isn't in high demand right now, or maybe there's a big supply of them on morph markets. So if you guys are working on some projects or thinking about pairing up some animals, go on morph market first, check out you know the supply of the combos that you're gonna be making are, and see if there is a high supply of them. If there's a lot of them on the market and you know the price is down on them and they're not selling, maybe it's a good idea to hold off on pairing those animals this year. So there's still a great opportunity out there for you to get some awesome snakes right now. I know myself and Darius and the rest of our team are still on Morph Market looking at snakes to buy. Right now it's a buyer's market. Unfortunately for us breeders, it's not a great seller's market. But with the price drops and the auctions and the sales going on, you can invest into some really awesome animals out there and get yourself built a very good foundation for your projects. And while you're growing these snakes up and you're investing into them, by the time they're ready to breed, the market may have skyrocketed back up. And from the data that I've looked at just in our country um, to begin with, most recessions only will last about 14 to 18 months. So eventually the market is going to go back up. But in the meantime, my best advice to you guys would be to just hold on, wait it out, grow your snakes up, keep focusing on those projects that you wanna work and stay positive because eventually the market is going to come back around. Now, if you're still building a collection right now, this is one of the best times for you because like I said, man, the prices on some of these snakes are really crazy. Like some of these high-end morphs are really going for low prices compared to what they were back in like 2020. So it's an awesome time for you to go out and invest into these animals. And another really good thing about maybe holding off on some pairings this year and waiting is if you're dealing with snakes that maybe aren't going to sell right away or it's something that you're gonna to have to hold on to for a while just because of the state of the market, maybe holding off on that pairing is a good thing because these are less mouths you're gonna to have to feed, less snakes you're gonna to have to house and take care of, and it could really save you some money and some time and energy if you just maybe wait till next year to pair them up. And it's not always a bad thing to wait to pair your snakes up, guys. I know myself and, you know, a lot of other people are really excited to get their snakes paired up. You've been raising these snakes up. You want to get them together. You want to have that clutch of eggs. You want those babies. But sometimes it's better to wait and be patient, especially with the state of the snake market right now. But 
I'm going to keep a positive outlook on it, and I want you guys to stay positive too. Hold on. Keep yourself motivated. Keep grinding. Keep working. Keep investing, and things will all work out in the end, you guys. The longer you hold on and wait, the better off you'll be because eventually, like I said, the market's going to go back up and everything will go back to normal as it should be. But right now there's a bit of a downturn and, you know, it's good to keep your eyes on the market and to keep your eyes on animals that are in high demand. Because if you're working with those animals that are still in high demand and maybe the supply is not that high, you could still sell them for the value that they're worth. Now, get out there and invest, you guys. I'm telling you, right now is the best time to invest. There's so many great deals going on right now on Morph Market and other places. I mean, <clears throat> I've been seeing so many sales and auctions on some crazy animals for prices I never thought I would see them at. So definitely take this opportunity to build that collection and to really focus on the snakes that you want to get for your collection. So those are kind of my thoughts on the snake market currently. I know uh, it can be discouraging right now, but like I said, you guys, just hold out, wait, Get yourself um, some really nice snakes in the meantime. I know that's what I'm focusing on right now. And mainly most of my pairings right now that I'm working on and Darius are working on are pairings that we're either A, really excited for, or B, are pairings that will yield some offspring that maybe there's not a high, de uh, high supply of, but there is a high demand. For me, most of the stuff that I'm working this year is clown stuff because the majority of my females that are up to size are clowns and also the males are clowns. Next year will be heavy on the lab. I know Darius has some lavender stuff going this year, which is really, really cool. But just keep those things in mind right now, you guys, and keep stay positive, keep working. Eventually, the snake market is going to go back up and you'll be able to to sell your snakes and make a profit off of that investment you made. And at the end of the day, you guys, these are living animals. They're more than just investments to me. These are my pets. I love them. And no matter what happens with the market, I'm going to continue to do what I'm passionate about, which is to have these animals, breeding these animals, caring for these animals. I mean, look how cool Nova is. We're just chilling out, enjoying each other's company. And, uh, something i'll never get tired of so keep that positive mindset down in the comments let me know your thoughts on the state of the snake market right now and if you guys are going to comment you know irrelevant stupid things please don't even bother commenting but if you have something of value to comment down below let me know also smash that like button for me smash that subscribe button smash that notification bell so you guys know when we're dropping a video I will talk to everyone very soon. Peace.